Hello, yes, we are with PPD. Congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. And we watched, obviously, we're watching everything back here. First game a bit more decisive than the second. The second one was quite the battle. How do you deal with Alchemist, and how did that game feel compared to the first? Uh, every Alchemist game gets a little messy. Yeah. We, we've been practicing. Obviously, if you want to win this tournament, you need to know how to beat the best strategies, and Alchemist is one of them. Ideally, we would have maybe banned it in the second phase, but they wanted it immediately, so we just had to man up and deal with it. As returning champs, how do you handle the pressure, the stress coming in, especially as you're moving through and there's a real chance you could be winning this whole thing again? Uh, well, I think a lot of the pressure from winning last year was um, kind of dissipated throughout the year, especially as we, our results became more and more disappointing and eventually people just stopped having expectations of us. And here we are at TI just doing our best and I don't really feel too much pressure. None at all. You weren't nervous at all coming into I mean, this game. I'm definitely nervous. Newbie is a really strong team and I obviously want to win and it takes a lot to win, but um, you know we're all pretty confident that we're just going to do our best, and if our best isn't good enough to win, then the other team deserves it more. I would be remiss if I didn't ask you about the roster changes. I'd love to get your perspective as captain, kind of watching everything the way that the back and forth went with Team Secret in the last couple of months. How do you feel about how things shook out now that you're here at TI and watching things unfold? Uh, it, it feels a lot like last year, honestly. Really? Like two of my teammates left last year, and that sucks. But then we come to TI and I see all these European teams losing and I find myself up against China in the winter bracket. So I'm hoping maybe we'll have something similar to last year, but we'll have to wait and see. Can I show you the um, flow chart that I created, handwritten, to try to follow along with the changes? Sure. Do you mind? Oh, oh man. Okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> so I'm gonna show it to the I'm gonna show it to you first and then I'll 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 show the camera what everybody's seeing. But I, I basically I used highlighters and a big pen and this handy yellow notepad to try to keep track of what was going on between you guys. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm not exactly following because I know it's your own kind of process here. Oh, it's my process. But it does look right. a little complicated and a little messy, but which is what happened, right? Most of us are here to play at TI. Oh, snap. All right, so I'm going to show you guys and I'll tweet this out too so you can see. It's really fascinating every year, honestly, to try to follow not just the play, but the personnel. And I think it's interesting, the behind the scenes versus watching how it actually Dota, unfolds. Do, the Dota scene is the best drama. That's what makes it the greatest eSport. So I'm sure people love it. All right. Well, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And best of luck as we move forward and watch you again. Thank you.